Blanco, and this is a life science lesson. According to Robert and Doring, technology resources support many kinds of teaching and learning strategies to help address science standards. According to Robler and Doring, authentic science not only involves having students do science, it includes connecting science to students' lives and experiences. Involving students in active scientific investigations can improve their attitude towards science as well as their understanding of the scientific concepts. In this lesson, I, with the help of students, will demonstrate how the use of technology is important and beneficial in the classroom. How does a butterfly grow? The butterfly begins as an egg. A larva hatches from the egg. A larva is a young insect. A butterfly larva is called a caterpillar. A caterpillar becomes a pupa when it is changing inside a hard covering. Out flies a grown butterfly. Last, the butterfly has wings. A grown butterfly may lay eggs. The life cycle goes on. As teachers, if we just read this to the students, they will not fully grasp or understand the concept of life cycle. However, providing them with visual, narration, animations, and auditory this process will enhance their comprehension skills and give them the opportunity to explore with the use of technology. PowerPoint presentation, for example, this can be used as a demonstration tool where we lead students through a computer activity verbally and modeling while students are following along. Using PowerPoint presentations and also including the program Audacity, Students can click on an icon and hear the instructions given by the teacher. To learn about the life cycle of a butterfly, go through each slide by clicking on the right arrow. Read and listen to all the information given. Students can also watch videos embedded into a PowerPoint presentation. The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages of development. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The butterfly is ready to emerge from the chrysalis. You can see the orange and black wings inside. A seam along the ventral side of the chrysalis cracks and opens just behind the head of the butterfly inside. As Bull and Bell indicate in the science classroom, digital video, especially when enhanced by special effects such as time lapse, provides a wide range of opportunities to engage in scientific inquiry. Do not always have the time to commit to long projects that encompass the entire scientific process. However, various technologies can provide support for scientific elements of the scientific inquiry process. Technologies offer a variety of ways to support reading comprehension and emergent literacies, as Roblier and Doring point out. Fun sites are available for encouragement and can also help us assist students quickly. As we can see, there are many different ways, innovative ways, to provide technology use for our students in our classroom. Students' projects can be used to assess and further develop their understanding, as indicated by Roblier and Doring.